Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing a video on BL Touches. Now this should be a genuine one made in Korea. I got it from their website. It says made in Korea, but I guess anyone can say that. Versus the cheap based on one, uh, based on this in theory. And hopefully it's going to fix my problems. I have had a lot of problems with this BL Touch uh, not working and half working. I don't know if I'm going to get it to do all of the errors today, but the first one I definitely can. And I think slash hope the quality of the BL Touch is going to solve my problems with bed leveling. I have an Anacubic Ultra Base here, which I was going to hope was going to be awesome to print on. However, I found out sometimes it prints and sticks and sometimes it doesn't. And in the end, I've given up and turned it over and printed on the PEI sheet that I stuck to it. But I'd actually like it to work. Um, so let's find out. So one of the obvious differences is the, well, it has different markings on it. This says it's made in Korea and it has a plastic pin. Uh, but I'm really trying to solve my errors. So if I plug it in, straight out of the box, we get this flashing. Yes, I know I need to replace the fan. It's starting to die. And so it doesn't work because it's just flashing and you have to like pull it out and push it back in turn it on and off still not working after a restart maybe pull the pin down turn it off about this time all right no Still not working. Okay, let's try it again. Let's actuate it a bit while it's in there. Now let's turn it off. This time, oh, that looks promising. Eureka, it worked. Okay, obviously that's pretty annoying, but that's not the most annoying thing about the cheap ripoff one. The most annoying thing is that sometimes it can't do the leveling, so it'll go through doing some leveling points, going around, doing leveling, and then all of a sudden it will just screw up giving those flashing, and then it'll just think that whatever height it is is the same for all of the um, the rest of the, the bed. And of course it will print like an inch off the bottom of the, away from there, which means it just ends up being useless stringiness something like this so I'm gonna see if we can't get it to give us that error right now and then we'll swap it over for the genuine one hopefully and we'll try it again and hopefully money well spent uh, this is at least twice the price of the fake one that came with the printer I actually got this from Aliexpress which might surprise some people but uh, according to their official website they do have an official uh, vendor on AliExpress sending genuine BL touches and I will link to that below now obviously you're gonna be tempted to go to the link and go oh wow but I can get it for half the price or five dollars cheaper somewhere else uh, don't get sucked into that because we all know we can get ripoff ones and a lot of people have had problems with them with the accuracy and this sometimes the probe not working we're trying to avoid having cheap nasty fake ripoff ones we're hoping that to get a genuine one that actually works all the time and results in accurate readings i know poor old um i don't know how you say it antic labs com complains about the fact that these are reviewed assuming that they're actually genuine ones and people uh, point out how bad the accuracy on these are whereas of course the genuine one they claim is actually pretty accurate well, it can't be much worse than this because this is pretty random sometimes so right now I'll try and do a bed leveling with like a whole heap of posts uh, points <laughs> posts mm. and we shall see if we can get it to stuff up for you Okay, there you go. You see it's now just got stuck. So now it just 
picks up all the levels where it is roughly now and it starts printing an inch off the uh, table so interestingly enough this is the fifth time I've run through the auto leveling process uh, it has stuffed up twice out of the five now the first time I actually wasn't recording <laughs> duh so um, so I didn't have that video so I had to keep going so it's quite annoying that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't what that means is that if you want to print anything you actually have to stand here waiting for ages to make sure that the auto leveling process goes through if it fails you have to start the print again and that is very very annoying um, especially since a number of times it will just happen multiple times in a row um, where it's failing to do the auto leveling other times you might be lucky the first day bam you won't have any problems and it will just work so I know it's definitely the the probe because I actually had a different controller on here it was the ramps 1.4 touchscreen which had this problem I've now swapped to the uh, lurge which I'll do a video on and it still has this crazy flashing uh, process where it breaks down so I'm going to swap over to the hopefully genuine one should be and we'll see how we go now one thing I have noticed is that the probe doesn't come out anywhere near as much on this as the uh, fake one however the fake one has to go up quite a long distance before it actually engages the sensor so maybe it doesn't actually make a difference so we'll swap that over and hopefully that'll be the pro end of all these problems so the problems are it randomly doesn't work like that flashing and I have what I believe problems with the leveling I'm pretty sure sometimes it doesn't detect the right height and therefore my prints won't stick okay this is it now working with the genuine made in Korea the L touch versus the based on ripoff made in China though interestingly enough I can't say any see anywhere where it says made in China which I thought they had to say that but anyway we're currently doing our fifth or sixth auto level and it has worked perfectly so that has made me very happy to spend some money and finally get this thing reliably printing now when it came to actually swapping them over it was much simpler than I thought even though this does have a really long probe on it it like I said the first part does nothing of the travel so it's ended up being basically the same obviously not exactly the same and both of these had the plug so I didn't I just unplugged the ripoff plug and plugged into the genuine probe and Bob's your uncle for a random saying that oh, probably no one uses these days so I can highly recommend buying a genuine BL touch over a fake no worky worky now I presume you didn't actually buy a fake no worky worky on purpose um, that probably happened because you bought a printer and we everyone buys things based on price and so they're not going to ship you a genuine one now as I said before the links I will have in the description below uh, don't be tempted to sway off the divine path to the genuine parts um, <laughs> in the in the attempt to save a few dollars because we'll end up back where we started with fake parts that don't actually work okay so that's my very very happy review on fake versus genuine BL touches or at least I believe it to be a fake versus genuine one uh, and for those of you who have noticed that, that I had this fan power cable running across the prints um, yes I know I do need to do something about that that's not supposed to be like that but <laughs> It didn't really matter for my investigation on auto leveling issues so thank you very much guys we shall see you on the next one bye bye woohoo happy chappy it works now Doo -doo -doo -doo.